Hey guys, I'm Mike from Mad Raven Woodworks. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you may recognize this thing. This is my DIY air filtration system. Um, it was featured in a recent rap video. In those dreams of a big miter station, put a blower in a box. It'll work for air filtration. Don't ask. Ever since then, I probably got like 15 messages in the last couple weeks about it. So I thought I'd share a little video on how I made mine. So basically what we have here, is a box with air filters on both sides. You open that box up, you can see that there is a furnace blower in there. My dad had actually wired the blower with a plug a long, long time ago and was using this as a fan in his workshop. And I asked him if I could have it, he let me have it. So this thing is a beast. I think it uh, circulated to like a thousand CFMs, whereas if you were to get the WEN one, which I have as well, I have two of them. Um, I think that's only like 350 or 400 or something. I would assume you could probably pick these up on Craigslist pretty cheap. There's probably somebody getting rid of them, trying to make a few bucks off of one. But overall, it's a pretty inexpensive project if you can find one or know somebody that has one and wants to get rid of one. All right, so I'm gonna take the filters off just so I can show you guys how it's made a little better. I use the cheapest ones. I mean, if you're uh, crazy about it, you could probably go with the more expensive ones, but I don't think you really need that. Personal preference. It's basically a four-sided box, openings on two sides. You can see the top is cut um, an inch shorter here and an inch shorter here, and that's to allow the air filter to slide in there. I just put these rails on the side to make sure that that filter can't fall out. Additionally, I also put a support a uh, piece on both sides to keep that air filter from sucking into the blower. And mine was shaking real bad, so a quick fix to that was I just ripped a piece of wood down to that width right there and just jammed it in there and it pretty much uh, don't vibrate no more. This was originally mounted to a ceiling with uh, eye hooks right here um, on all four corners. But now that I'm in a basement shop, the ceiling's only seven and a half feet tall. I don't wanna hang it from the ceiling because it's more so in my way than if it were on the ground. So I put little casters on it, cheap little casters on it, and that works. Put some handles on it too so I can pull it around the shop. You'll see on this side where the actual blower motor is, I actually cut out a little area so I could oil it if I ever needed to. So you open it up, and uh, there you can see the motor right there. So if you want the cord to come out, uh, you, you could drill a hole, but that's gonna be like an inch wide hole, and. A lot of air is going to get in through there and might not, you know, might not help you if you're trying to filter out the dust. Uh, so what I did was I put a slit that was about the width of my cord, put that all the way up the slit, pull it tight, and then just move it over till the cord reaches that opening and then it kind of pinches it right there. And then I'll just screw it off. And that is basically an airtight hole right there, or at least pretty close. So before you make one of these things, basically you just want to buy um, a filter and then make the whole thing to fit that filter. This one is 14 by 24 by one, uh, which is actually three quarters. There's uh, some wiggle room right there, but uh, it's not a big deal because whenever the, whenever the blower turns on, it, it sucks it all in anyway. Doesn't really matter if there's wiggle room there. Like I said earlier, I now have the blower pointed at the floor so it distributes it around in all four directions. Um, and you can see I just have a hole cut out the size of the hole in the blower. And I uh, used sheet metal screws and just drilled right through there into the tabs on the blower. And that's what holds it in place. Let me show you how it works. There you go. Both filters in. It's got a little wobble to it, but it, uh, it does the job pretty well. I'm gonna attempt to give you a little example of how well it works. I don't know if I'll be able to prove anything, but uh, it's got some pretty good sucking power. I'm gonna put a napkin and drop it in front of it, and it'll. I, I assume it'll probably catch it. We'll, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, okay. Oh, there it goes. Demonstration's over. If you're working with pine, you might not notice it for a while, but uh, I guess depending on how close it is to where you're working, but yeah, it gets pretty nasty pretty fast. So that's my air filtration system. I think a lot of people uh, go this route 
I think it's fairly common because you can save a bit of money. I mean, other than the when one, you know, they get pretty expensive. Hopefully all your questions were answered. I think most of you can probably build one yourself just based on what you see here. Um, it's really not that hard. So if you found this video helpful, I appreciate a like and subscribe. Uh, now that the Christmas season is over, I'm back in the shop and Woodshop Wars is coming back very soon, I promise. Mad Raven, I'm a second rate hustler. Harbor Freight Shop, and cause we can't afford no rockler. If you follow me, save a buck or two. And cut your own hair, that might save a few. In those dreams of a big miter station, put a blower in a box, it'll work for air filtration. Tackle boxes make great bit containers. Tight bond two, not three, no brainers. Sandpaper adds up over time. Use it till the grid's gone, save a dime. These Ryobi bits here, they're three years old. Burns up the wood, good cause I'm cold. Don't waste your money on some fancy glue spreader. Just use your fingers, dude. Yo, it's faster and it's better. Some think I'm crazy, some think I'm nuts. I used that stock blade for two years, it still cuts.